So when it comes to the point that you are gaming and you're trying to, I don't know, maybe becoming a streamer. So if you're at the very bottom of the tier, meaning you've only just got your system, you haven't started your channel yet on Twitch or YouTube or whatever, uh, you haven't had the availability to actually start getting viewers. So you are literally fresh out the box starting from scratch. You don't have the money, you don't have the budget to buy, you know, 100, 500, 600 pounds, you know, microphones and systems and XLRs and all that rubbish. Where do you start? Where do you start from the very bottom to be like, right, is this product going to benefit me or is it just pretty much a gimmick that a company wants to take my money? Well, that's pretty much why I got the product that we've got today. Now, we've reviewed a few of their products before in the past. It's a company called Smolody or Small D. I'm not really sure. First one was a little set of PC speakers. Terrible. Absolutely atrocious. Like uh, the feedback you were getting for them when you weren't playing music. Terrible. The second thing we reviewed was a tube like tunnel speaker. Incredible. Best thing that they've actually ever released. So that was like built in music, portable music. Now we're looking at a portable microphone. Now it's a little bit different than some of the ones I reviewed in the past, but I'm hoping it should turn out to be a good video. So let's just get on with it. So this is mainly what we're talking about. This is Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM key CD key, and this is a global version. What we need to do is go down to buy now, click on buy now, it's gonna send us over to the processing page. From this page, we've got a few things. We've got the product we're buying, which is the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM key global lifetime. But in the promotion code, if you type in the promotion code SKJT, what it's gonna do is further reduce the price down from 16.55 down to 12 pound 41. Now that's a savings of four pound and 14 pence. So from here, what we need to do is actually submit order. I use PayPal because it's what I use every day. So I'm going to go through PayPal and I'll be back in a minute. So there we go. There's my order. As we can see, it's a Windows 10 Pro OEM key and my order number. So what we need to do from here is actually click on view keys and codes. So I'm going to do that now. So click get the key. And as we can see at the bottom here, mine's blurred out, yours won't be. This is the key we need to put into the activation settings to activate Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Then what I need to do is go down to my settings. Up at the top, type in activation activation settings from here it says change product key so i'm going to click on change so obviously mine's there it's blurred out at the moment all we need to do from here is click on next click on close and you're done and dusted so guys this is what we are taking a look at this is the smaller the colorful multimedia microphone and this is the mic 001 now have a look at the box see if we can see these little icons so we do have apparently it's clear voice 360 of all points all point two apparently video conferences that it's perfect for network chat and also voice training so apparently it's good for all these things so let's check it out all right so i'm gonna get this unbox see what we're working with i think it is literally just gonna be the microphone and we'll have a look. okay that's uh, good stuff i think there's an instruction manual somewhere and um, we have a small little introduction manual wow that is uh, as, big as basic as it gets so little instruction manual here small it's got the mic 001 here and I guarantee it's probably just going to tell you, yeah, what each of the points are. Uh, and that is it. It's just going to tell you that, uh, where's English? It's going to tell you that it's got uh, a micro, a precise USB 5 volt, effective. FX LED light effects, microphone on off, and also LED touch switch. Okay, so that's something we're going to have to check out. Right, so the microphone itself. Right, let's have a look. So yes, this was on Amazon. Obviously, I got this for extremely relatively cheap. I wanted to see, you know, what you could buy on a budget to maybe start streaming or maybe start your career. Or even if you're just doing it for fun, what can you do on a budget so you can spend the rest of your money on maybe your graphics card or other PC peripherals? So that's pretty much why I went for this, to see if this was for the budget gamer. So starting off with the cable. So cable is basic USB. That's all you get nothing exciting there's no other audio jacks or anything it is just usb um, it's not relatively the most large as a cable so this is definitely something you're gonna have to figure out if you want this closer to you if you've got a usb supply closer to you which is all right uh, and that's pretty much it just a basic cable uh doesn't flex very well turns white when it flexes so that's definitely something to consider so starting on the back of this thing we do have a large area of matted foam but they've put the sticker on the bottom so i definitely would remove that or this is just gonna that's like literally hardly any touch in there. It just slides all over the place. I definitely would have replaced that with maybe rubber, but obviously you're talking about a budget here. 
Now we do have white acrylic going on the outside. This is going to be mostly for the RGB to shine through, which isn't too bad. Quite a nice effect. Uh, we'll come to the microphone in a minute. Now on the top front here. So we have our mute button. I believe this is the mute button. And then we also have the logo, which is also in acrylic. So that's going to allow the RGB to shine through. We have a little light symbol there. Can we see that? Little light symbol. So this apparently is for the RGB touch. You can just touch that and apparently the RGB either changes or turns off. We also have more acrylic going around the outside there, which is also for the RGB to shine through. And then we have the actual uh, extender for the microphone. So the microphone relatively is quite large. Uh, I'm going to say anywhere between 25 and 30 centimeters, but it is coated in like a flexible metal material, which does allow you to manipulate it to however you want it depending where you're going to be sat you know like if this is sat down and there's a guy in front of you there's a guy to your left to your right behind or whatever you can manipulate the microphone to your benefit which isn't too bad it does come with a little small pot filter which does just slide off so when you are talking the peas and everything like that it may make it sound that little bit clearer now for the microphone itself so we have the microphone here it is coated all in plastic um and it does have it's got cutouts on both sides of the actual microphone itself as well as the top so it's going to allow you to have that 360 degree rotation as they said so that's definitely something i am interested in checking out but what we are going to do is i'm going to get this plugged in now and we're going to do an audio test and actually see whether this is beneficial is it going to be beneficial we don't know so let's try it out now let's go Okay, so here we are again doing another audio test with a microphone we have in the studio. So like I said, the one we're taking a look at is the smaller D1 and I'm not looking forward to it, but I am looking forward to it. So currently what we're doing is running on the Hyper X, which you can see kind of in the frame. Sorry about the noise. So what we're actually going to do is swap over to the smaller D and pretty much see how it keeps up, I guess. So like I said, the smaller D, they do have a little... Um, mute and unmute click button so we're going to unclick that going to isolate the HyperX and see roughly what it sounds like this has got no filters on so this is raw footage coming directly from the smaller d mc no the mic zero zero one so let's have a look are you working i think it is working right i think it is working so this is pretty much what my voice sounds like through the smaller d mic zero zero one or the mic 100 with no filters attached no nothing and it is about i'd say about several inches away from my face so i'm watching it on obs and it is relatively meeting about negative 10 negative 10 db but then there is also a lot of background interface as well that's going on obviously i've got fans from a pc you've got sounds outside going on so i've got no filters attached to this because so this is predominantly what it sounds like so you're going to have to let me know in the comment section below how you feel. What would you prefer? The HyperX or the Smaller D Mic 001 or the Mic 100? Let me know in the comment section below and we'll see where we go from there. How do I feel about this? Now, start with the advantages. It's small, it's portable, it's extremely bendy, so you can move it to however you want, whether you're sat standing or whatever. It does come with a removable pop filter, which is quite cool, I have to admit. Uh, you know, but if you're going to scream down your microphone, it's going to be a little bit more softer. Uh, it does have uh, rubber feet on the bottom, which does stop it from slipping around, and it does have a small amount of RGB, as well as a mute and unmute button. There's the advantages. Now the disadvantages of this. The cable is small. There's not really much of, you know, there's not any room. Like, say, the HyperX I'm running on now, it's got a three meter cable, something like that. I don't know why, but it's got a huge cable. It means I can route it from literally above the camera all the way down, all the way across my monitors and end into my PC with a little bit of room to flex. I can't do this with this. But it's not the worst in the world. Like I have reviewed, you know, microphones that are in the 50, 60, 70 pound up to 100 pound that are actually horrendous. It's not bad. If you are going to be starting off, you know, your life with streaming and starting to do a little bit here, a little bit there, not streaming every day, you know, just dipping your feet in the water. It's it's all right. It's not going to cause you much issues. You know, I think the great thing about it, it does have a mute button. You know, I've had some expensive microphones that don't even have them. So it has a mute button. It's got a little bit of RGB. The microphone itself is extremely flexible. And yeah, I definitely say longer cable and maybe allow you to have some form of like audio interface already on it. So you can change the, I think it's, is it, a, I can't remember what it's called now. Got a brain fart. 
So on the hyperx you can change different uh, patterns that's all yeah so audio patterns if say if it's got like a built-in audio pattern for like one way or two way maybe something like that but overall not too bad so if you are a beginner streamer and a starting streamer and you don't have your budget to buy expensive microphones drop down the links in the description there'll be a link there so you can go check them out for yourself and if you do end up getting one you need any help or assistance let me know in the comments section below i'm more than happy to help